after a long wait covid vaccination is finally approved for use during pregnancy this comes after the devastating second wave when many unvaccinated pregnant females lost their lives to covid covid vaccination is specially very important for pregnant females why first of all because they are more prone to getting infected with covid infection because they have to go to healthcare facilities for their regular checkups for ultrasound etc second the risk of complication is slightly higher in pregnant females as compared to other individuals although most pregnant females are asymptomatic just like their non pregnant counterparts but still they tend to deteriorate very rapidly affecting the health of mother as well as baby so without further ado let us start with the important practical points on covid vaccination during pregnancy first of all a very commonly asked question when to get vaccinated during pregnancy as in which month of pregnancy should a female get vaccinated see pregnancy is divided in three trimesters first three months is first trimester fourth fifth sixth month is second trimester seventh eighth ninth month is third trimester third trimester is the time when the chance of complication with covid-19 infection is highest there are increased risk of preterm delivery if a female gets covid infection so the idea is to protect you before third trimester so that you enter third trimester safe also the importance of first trimester that is the first 3 months of pregnancy is that this is a very crucial time this is the time of organogenesis when the organs of the fetus are developing and it is an unsaid rule that we gynecologists don't like to interfere unnecessarily in first 3 months okay there should be no non urgent intervention in first 3 months it should be left untouched so any vaccine related side effect like fever etc can impact the growing fetus the fetus who is yet to form all its organs so it is best to take this vaccine after 12 weeks of pregnancy that is after third month so the best time to take vaccine is Fourth, fifth, and sixth month. So try to finish both your dosing schedules in fourth, fifth, and sixth month. Also, it is important to vaccinate a female, a pregnant female, well before third trimester because these antibodies that you produce after vaccination they help your baby also. So these antibodies are transmitted to your baby, and that is how your baby is protected. It may take around four to six weeks after your second uh, dose. for you to make enough antibodies and for the antibodies to be transferred to the baby now who all should not get vaccinated first of all somebody who is already suffering with covid-19 infection obviously she will not take this vaccine second if she had covid infection in past so anybody not only pregnant females anybody who has covid infection they should avoid taking vaccination for at least 3 months after getting infected with covid-19 or 2 months after recovery whichever is later and same is for pregnant females third a female who has had vaccine severe vaccine related reaction or anaphylactic reaction to first dose for her second dose is contraindicated it is important to note that not only this vaccine but if you are allergic if you have had severe allergic reactions or anaphylactic reaction to any other injectable medication or any other vaccine in past inform this to your vaccinator because these vaccines they tend to have similar uh, elements for example peg polysorbate these are the elements that are you know known to cause certain allergic reactions in some individuals then anybody who has had plasma therapy before pregnant or not pregnant they are not eligible for covid vaccination now the next question is which vaccine to take See again all vaccines are approved for use during pregnancy the registration is same it is through covin app there is some hesitancy in using covishield because there are certain reports of blood clot formation after astrazeneca covishield administration but just like i said in my previous video the incidence of blood clot formation after vaccination is extremely rare this should not stop you from going ahead with vaccine you can take whichever vaccine is available to you however if you are skeptical if you have doubts in your mind if you don't want to take it nobody is forcing you to do that you can choose some other vaccine 
but covid infection is also responsible for causing blood clots in fact a much higher rate than the vaccine pregnancy in itself is a high risk factor for blood clot formation ocp oral contraceptive pill has higher risk of blood clot formation due to its estrogen component but this risk is extremely rare it has unnecessarily created bad name for oral contraceptive pills so if you try to put everything in an order like covid infection ocp pregnancy and covid vaccination then covid vaccine has the lowest risk of causing blood clot so don't be afraid of that the symptoms of blood clot formation includes difficulty in breathing coughing up of blood swelling and pain in calves severe headache acute pain in abdomen if you have any such symptom pregnant or non pregnant you should report this is a practical point for everybody especially for pregnant females if you are going for vaccination have a meal and then go have breakfast and go don't go there empty stomach you are required to sit for 20 to 30 minutes post vaccination and pre vaccination also there can be some waiting period people who are on thyroid medication should take their thyroid medication in the morning just as usual if you are on insulin you should not miss your insulin shot and you should not miss your meals so basically vaccination should not come in way of your regular antenatal care what about other vaccinations during pregnancy see in pregnancy we give tetanus toxoid or tdap shot that should be spaced from covid vaccination by 14 days as a matter of fact if you are taking any vaccine in the gap between that vaccine and covid vaccine should be at least 14 days but just in case you are on some vaccination schedule that happens to fall on the same day for example if a female is on anti rabies rabies vaccination she had a dog bite and that vaccination falls on the same day as covid vaccine then also both can be taken on same day but at different sites so take one vaccine in one arm and the other vaccine in other arm now what if a female is exposed to covid infection so suppose if husband is covid positive so in this case pregnant woman should isolate separately from husband and watch for symptoms of covid infection for 14 to 21 days if there are no symptoms then she can very well go ahead with a vaccination but then the husband has to stay away till the time of recovery now what is the role of measurement of antibody titers there is practically no role because there are various ways to develop immunity there is b cell immunity and t cell immunity antibody titer does not cover every form of immunity so be it pregnant or non pregnant and antibody titers they do not help you much now how to deal with post vaccination side effects side effects like fever body ache etc so this can be dealt with in the same way as we deal with non pregnant patients paracetamol is safe during pregnancy and it can be taken if you have mild fever first of all check whether or not you have fever whether or not you need this medicine don't take it unnecessarily but then there are certain red flags if you have very high degree of temperature okay if the temperature is like 102 103 and it is not responding to paracetamol it is not responding to antipyretics that is that is advised to you if you are taking multiple doses of paracetamol in a single day or if you are perceiving less fetal movements so if you were perceiving normal fetal movements before vaccination and now after vaccination you have fever and your fetal movement count is low then also you have to report to obstetrician apart from that if you have any other problem like pain in abdomen etc then you have to report to your obstetrician so take care everybody stay safe and stay well informed bye bye